Welcome to St. Matthew's as we celebrate the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We welcome those who have gathered in church this afternoon and we welcome all those who are watching from your homes or elsewhere on Sunday mornings. Today's Mass intention is for our parish and in memory of Jack Yancher and for Bill and Corrine Bregman who are celebrating their 65th wedding anniversary. Parishioner Richard Steinhoff died last week. His funeral mass will be on Tuesday, October 12th at 11 a.m. with visitation at 10 a.m. Next Saturday is our fall church and campus clean, cleaning day. Volunteers of all ages and abilities are needed, please. Next weekend is our monthly collection for the food shelf at Neighborhood House. We thank you in advance for your donations. If you want to participate in the Giving Thanks in November fundraiser, someone is at that, is, will be at the back of the church after Mass to help you out. Father Steve will be hearing confessions in the chapel after Mass this evening. Please join me as we take 30 seconds in quiet to prepare ourselves for Mass today. Thank you and welcome. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. We come together this evening to celebrate the mystery of Christ, that mystery by which we are drawn into the very death and resurrection of Jesus, the mystery of salvation, the mystery of reconciliation and healing. And so we begin by praying, Lord Jesus, your word is living and effective. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, your word penetrates the soul. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word judges the thoughts of the heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may your grace at all times go before us. May it follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. We pray this through Jesus the Lord, your Son. He lives with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. 
I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold in view of her is, is a little sand, and before her silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness, I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her company, and countless riches at her hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. to number our days aright that we may gain wisdom of heart return O Lord how long have pity on your servants fill us with your love O Lord that we will sing Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. With your love, O oh Lord, and we will sing for A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus, who are God and Father, glory and forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord be with you. With your spirit. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was setting out on a journey. A man ran up to him and knelt down before him and said, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. The man replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. At this statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. At the very beginning of this gospel story, when the man says to Jesus, good teacher, and Jesus says, why do you call me good? God alone is good. You and I are given, if you will, the answer to the problem. That's what's going to become clear at the very end of the story. God alone is good. See, the man presumes that there's something he has to do. He's observed all the commandments and he's lived a just life. What more does he need to do? Jesus looks at him and we're told that Jesus loved him. That look, that loving gaze is always the preamble to the invitation to vocation. First, Jesus looks upon you, and then Jesus invites you. Jesus says to the young man, only one thing is left for you to do, and that's, that's you need to just Put aside all your possessions, all of, those, all of those things you cling to. Give that all away, and then come and follow me. And there is the crux of the story. This man wanted to know what he had to do to gain eternal life. And there were no more commandments that he had to do. In fact, the commandments that he was doing were not going to earn him eternal life. What Jesus said to him is what he said to Peter and Andrew and James and John. He said, come, follow me. It was the invitation to discipleship. In one sense, it's very easy to be obedient to rules. Rules are static. Rules are always there. Rules gents generally just don't change. But that's different from being faithful to a person. A person is dynamic. The person today may say something that's different from tomorrow and different from yesterday. To be committed to a person is to be committed not to something static, but to a dynamic reality, a relationship. And that's what Jesus is saying to the young man. 
I want you with me. I want you to walk in my footsteps. I want you to embrace the truth that I've come to announce and to proclaim. That was the invitation. And he wasn't able to accept it. He wasn't able to accept it because he had taken his eyes off Jesus and he became so concerned about what he had, what he possessed, what was his, that that took over. That became the, the power of the moment. Well, you and I are called to, to follow the Lord. We're called to, to step beyond the rules and regulations. We're, we're called to enter into an interpersonal relationship with the Lord. The Lord looks upon each of us and he loves us. Not as a group, but individually. He sees each and every single one of us. And he loves us. And he says, all that is lacking for you is step beyond those possessions. Whatever holds you, whatever you've committed yourself to, whatever, whatever is fastening to you, whatever possesses you, step beyond that and come follow me. Now the possessions that are spoken about in the gospel are probably material possessions, but those are not the possessions that challenge us today. They're the interior possessions. They're my unwillingness to let go of fear. That I need to protect myself, that I, I sense that I'm always in danger. I'm captivated by my fear. Or sometimes it's my resentment. I've been passed over, I've been ignored, I believe I've been treated unfairly, and I just won't let go of that that continues to be with me day and night. Or maybe it's shame, recognizing that I've been responsible for doing harm to others and, and I can't step beyond that shame. I can't begin anew. Whatever that possession is, whatever, whatever I hold on to and what holds on to me, Jesus said, walk away from that. Let that go. And then follow me. Put your eyes on me. Step into my footsteps. Because I love you. And I want you with me. We pray together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We turn to the Lord God and we make our prayer. For the church, that the spirit of wisdom may take root in us, emboldening, emboldening us to give what we have to the poor for the sake of the gospel, enabling us to more closely follow Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the commandments that God gave us may guide all nations in the way they treat their people and their neighbors, respecting life, honesty, and goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are working to promote respect for life from conception to natural death, that their efforts be successful each and every day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the descendants of indigenous people in this country and around the world, that their heritage may be treasured and valued, and that they be treated with respect and dignity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists, housekeepers, chaplains and priests, food service workers, and everyone working in hospitals and nursing homes, caring for COVID patients. We ask protection for these heroes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who undergo persecution for the sake of the gospel, that Jesus' promise of a hundredfold reward may give them courage and comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Richard Steinhoff and Luis Hernandez, who recently died, may they and all the faithfully departed rest in God's peace and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the word of God may penetrate our very being, burrowing between our joints and marrow, so that we may live in accordance with the gospel each and every day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For John Spurl, who last week celebrated his 93rd birthday, we ask God's blessing to heal John from a recent health issue. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bill and Corrine Bregman, who are celebrating their 65th wedding anniversary, your parish family congratulates you and commends you on your amazing life together. May God bless you always. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, especially Mary Kelly, Rick Lopez, Minerva Guerrera Garza, Carolina Gomez, Grant Littler, Maureen Gitlin, Louise Bridell, Cecilia Glenn, Jerry Genegas, and Jan Steinbrenner. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Come Holy Spirit, make us
that our sacrifice be acceptable to God the Almighty. Sacrifice at your hand, the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Lord, accept the prayers of your people. Through these acts of devotion, may we pass over to the glory of eternal life. We pray this in the name of Jesus, who lives with you and with the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we proclaim with a living faith. His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with the angels and saints we now proclaim your glory as we sing. Lord God, you are the Holy One. You are the source of all that is holy. Humbly we pray that you make our gifts holy. Send your Spirit upon them. Grant that by the power of your Spirit we may receive from this altar the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. When he was betrayed and willingly entered into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks and praise, he blessed and he broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body. It will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Once more, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be poured out for you and for all that sin be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
And so we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection. We offer you the bread of life and the cup of salvation. We thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. We humbly pray that all who share the gift of his body and his blood be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Gather her together in charity with Francis, with Bernard, our bishop, with the entire people your son has gained for you. Remember Jack Yancer, who has gone to his rest believing in the resurrection. Bring him and bring all the faithful departed into the light of your presence. And now have mercy on us all that with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with St. Joseph, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, may we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray now as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all that is evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of the Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will. You live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us show to each other a sign of Christ's peace. the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Those who wish to receive communion, please come forward. You may be seated during communion time.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 Let us pray the litany on the back of your worship aid. 
that you are continually holding me, sustaining me, loving me. Jesus, I trust in you. That your love goes deeper than my sins and failings and transforms me. Jesus, I trust in you. That not knowing what tomorrow brings is an invitation to lean on you. Jesus, I trust in you. That you are with me in my suffering. Jesus, I trust in you. That my suffering, united to your own, will bear fruit in this life and the next. Jesus, I trust in you. That you will not leave me orphan, and you are present in your church. Jesus, I trust in you. That your plan is better than anything else. Jesus, I trust in you. That you always hear me, and in your goodness, always respond to me. Jesus, I trust in you. That you give me the grace to accept forgiveness and to forgive others. Jesus, I trust in you. That you give me all the strength I need for what is asked. Jesus, I trust in you. That my life is a gift. Jesus, I trust in you. That you will teach me to trust you. Jesus, I, I trust, trust in you. you. That you are my Lord and my God. Jesus, Jesus I, trust I trust in you. you. That I am your beloved one. Jesus, I trust in you. There are a couple of short announcements before we conclude this evening. The Archdiocese is inviting each parish to participate in a series of reflections and small group discussions in preparation for a synod. A synod is a, is a gathering within the diocese to look at who we are, who we want to be, and then to set forth a plan to achieve what it is that we wish to desire. The next gathering for our discussion, our small group, our reflection, will be two weeks from today, on the 23rd of, of October, on Saturday, beginning at 9.30 here in the church. Next Saturday is shine-up and clean-up day. You know, we're just like every other household in the world. It's the fall, and so you throw open the windows and you, you clean up. And so we're going to do deep cleaning here in the church next Saturday, and we're going to do some cleaning around the campus as well. So if you're willing to help on the campus, more than welcome to come. If you've got a rake or a push broom or something you like to work with, bring that along with you. If you're willing to help inside, though, also come in, and we will provide the materials for you to, to be able to do that. And there will be coffee and donuts and an opportunity to socialize along with that. So that's, that's uh, next Saturday, a week from today, here in the church. The details are found in the parish bulletin. May I have those who are going to be distributing communion to those not here come forward. Our sisters and brothers await your visit, and they await the grace of this sacrament. Take the body of Christ to them along with our prayer for them, and bring the assurance that they are one with us in faith and hope and love. Go in peace, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we humbly pray that as you feed us with the nourishment that comes from the body and blood of Jesus, your Son, so may you make us sharers of his divine nature. We pray this through him who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Now let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. So